change a string on a Floyd Rose system. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I just got finished doing my album, played a lot of leads, and broke a lot of strings. The album's called I Wanna Rock. It's available on iTunes, and also you can check it out on my website, marycarry.net. But the real reason I'm here today is to show you how to change a string on a Floyd Rose system. And the first thing you really have to know is to get the right string. This is a Sbarzo string. They're the best because they're twinkly and bright and they actually do last the longest when you're rocking out. Come on over here and I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay, so right now I'm gonna change my low E string, which I actually have tuned to an E flat, but that doesn't matter. Come on over here. Okay, so right here, I've got the, the last part of my string sticking out. You wanna put your Allen wrench in and loosen this up and basically pull out the last part of the string. Oops. There. So there's, you don't want this to be anything sticking out of there. Okay, so now we've come on up here and we wanna loosen up this one. And I usually leave this in. I don't take it all the way out just because it's easier. And I pull my string out and undo it. So now it's all clean. There's no string on there. And you want to put your brand new sparkly Sparzo string in. And the first thing you have to do with a Floyd, which is really kind of weird, it takes a little getting used to, is you want to cut the string ball off. Can you see that? There. Okay, so you just got this end, and you're going to put the end right in here. You want that pretty tight so that you don't, it doesn't pop out. Okay, so now we're going up here. And can you see that? It's just going to go right underneath and underneath there. And I like to use the lock stitch method. What it is, is you want your string hole to be at an angle like that. Okay, so in it goes. Pull it nice and tight. And then you go up and around. Pull that tight again, and then the end of the string goes right through there. And I hold that down and get this really pulled tight and pulled back around again. That locks it. Now we're tightening it up. So the next thing you gotta do, stretch the string out a lot. I mean, stretch and stretch, because you don't wanna go uh, have your string going south <laughs> when you're at a gig. So here's what I do. I stretch it on all different places on the neck. Be sure, once this is all stretched out, that these end fine tuners are up enough and down enough so that you have room to go either way once you tighten this down. Because once you tighten this down, your, your tuning pegs don't work anymore. You're really only relying on the fine tuners down at this end. Let's tighten this down. There it is. And now you can fine tune your guitar with this guy down here at the end. So that's it. Thanks for coming. Okay, so I hope this helped you about how to change a string on a Floyd Rose system with your brand new Sparzo strings. And I hope you'll check out my album on iTunes or marycarry.net at the end of August 09. All right, have a great day. Thanks for stopping in.